Hi, welcome to Stamp Affair. This is Erin Lincoln, and I'm here for this challenge to show you how to add these glittered stripes to your ribbon to give it a little extra shine and specialness if you're giving out a project. Now, this is what we're making, the February 3 box, and we're adding glittered lines to both the bow and the ribbon that wraps all the way around. So we got out some Limeade Ice Grogain ribbon. I thought that was probably the best choice. Um, and plus it was wide enough for two lines, which I'm adding here with some score tape. And it is in the 1 8 inch width. And the nice thing about this is uh, when you put this tape on fabric, it doesn't want to stick that well. It does enough, but it gives you a little bit of a temporary adhesive so you can adjust it if you need to. And I need to, which is what I'm doing right here. I'm trying to get an even uh, line with the edge of the ribbon and then just use your finger to kind of smush it in and really make the adhesive uh, stick but like right here you see it's a little off so I'm gonna adjust that it's a little finicky when you're working with these long strips of tape anyone who has done anything with tape like wrap presents knows that uh, just takes a little bit of uh, time and finesse and patience. Alright, there's our first line for our glitter, and that's our double sided score tape. And here we go with our second line to make it look a little like uh, it's piped a bit. Piped lines, piping. So a technique like this, which is maybe just a little bit time sensitive, I would recommend for like a one and done project instead of mass producing. So you just have one, uh, one person you want to gift with a little something special. This is probably the way to go as opposed to uh, mass producing 20 of these, I can't imagine. All right, just trim the edges off and now it's time to bust out the glitter. For the ultra fine palette Prisma Color glitter, and I have a long length of ribbon here, and I'm just going to kind of do it in stages because I don't want to get glitter everywhere. I mean, can you imagine the pool of glitter if I rip the tape all off at once? Not good. So just do about six inches at a time and sprinkle your glitter. This is the sugar coated challenge, so maybe it's sugar. You think of it as sugar. and just peel it back a little bit further and just take it real slow and steady about six inches at a time now you're going to get some glitter on the ribbon because it has a, like a corrugated texture to it um, I find it's best just to kind of flick it maybe over a trash can and that excess glitter will uh, come off for you but it being glitter you know it gets everywhere you just can't help it It's the infectious disease of the craft world. It just spreads and spreads and spreads and spreads. You can't get rid of it. I read that once on Pinterest. I thought it was pretty funny. Okay, we're shaking off all the excess. Again, if you have a trash can, hold that ribbon over a trash can and kind of flick it with your finger and get that excess off. But for our purposes right here, this is good. We're gonna put that aside. And we're gonna clean up our glitter. Now you notice I have this on a piece of scratch paper so I can funnel it, hopefully. Got a little bit off, but nothing ever goes perfect, right? Just scoop it back as best you can, and then I'm gonna show you a little trick I have with glitter so you can control the chaos just a little bit. You use a lint brush. Comes right off, right off your backing, whatever you've been working on, your hands, which is important. There you go. Okay, next we're gonna do the bow because that long piece of ribbon is the piece that we're gonna do to wrap around our favorite box. We're gonna do the bow right now. And this is what I recommend. I would go ahead and tie your bow just so you know what you're working with. Now bows for me are very difficult. It's like the blind leading the blind here, but I think I do a good job. I avoid these. 
but it's just it's a little bit of you know fiddling with it fluffing those big bows you can do it if I can do it you can do it and the reason why I'm tying my bow is going to be here apparent here in just a second before I glitter it all right I have it set that's how I want it and do it now leave that set or not because we don't want to put any glitter there can you imagine trying to tie glitter in a knot now nah. so there's no need to so just leave that knot there you're just undoing the loops and we're gonna add the score tape to either side of that uh, knot just like we did with the uh, long length of ribbon. It's just a little easier to um, control here because it's not that long a piece of tape. Trim the edges. And you go kind of like right up to that little narrowing for the knot. It doesn't have to go all the way to the knot. We're going to cover it up with a ribbon. Uh, excuse me, we're going to cover it up with a button so that little piece that doesn't have glitter is not going to show. Trim off the extra and bust out that glitter again. The shorter lengths are actually a lot easier to work with. Maybe do the bow first and do the longer length to get adapted to it. All right, sprinkle some glitter. Flick it off. And then you have this like puddle of glitter. And so instead of re-sprinkling it, just use it to your advantage. And just tap the sticky side of that ribbon right into that puddle of glittery goodness. go. All right, now uh, clean it up and go ahead and tie your bow. You're going to get glitter everywhere. Resign yourself to the fact and just have fun. And it's kind of tricky because you want to see as much of the glitter showing as possible. So if the ribbon is kind of twisted so you see the back side, you kind of have to, you know, fiddle it, twist it, fluff it. But it can be done make a little perky bow and you know the tape isn't sticky anymore because it's coated in this glitter so you you know you can still slide it through the knot a little bit there we go no I have to laugh at myself because every time I do this I do it wrong and it didn't fail right here darn it all right, we're going to re-cut it. Much better. You know, I go into it, I'm like, I'm going to do it right, and I do it wrong I, every time. But fortunately, because it's a bow, I have two chances to get it right. Here's the other one, and this time I'm not making any mistake. Okay, there's our bow with the glitter. Now, remember the knot doesn't have any glitter because that would have been kind of a nightmare. So you're gonna cover it up with a button or maybe you could take like a little piece of ribbon and wrap it around and that little wrap would have the glitter on it. But I chose a button. I have some crochet thread, which is a, like a single strand. And when I use it on buttons, I uh, I put, put it through the holes twice so it has you know, it doesn't look so wimpy, so thin. Tie 
by the back. And here's my favorite staple, a hot glue gun. And that just gets glued right to the top of that bow. Awesome. Glitter. Glitter's everywhere. Okay, here's the favorite three box. Once I get the glitter off. It is kind of a messy project, but it's fun. The muskier you get, the more fun you've had. Okay, this is a favorite three box, which I have cut out of Aqua Mist ink and stamped with background basics botanicals, which is an older set, but it was fun to bust it out and use it again. I'm using the same score tape and I'm wrapping it around my box. And this is gonna adhere my ribbon where I want it. Okay, here's what we did originally. There you go, around the back. Trim it, have some extra for another project. Through the hole to close the bag. I would probably uh, fill my bag with whatever favor I had right before this point and glue it shut. I have a little stamped tag here. It's stamped with To You From Me with a little sentiment from Do Me a Favor tags. It says, so glad you could come. I'm just using my hot glue gun to put it to the top of the ribbon. Probably a good idea with that glitter. And there goes the bow. And that, my friends, is our project. Nice perky, glittery, fun. And here's my original. And there's that bow up close. So give it a try. Remember, save it for maybe when you have a one fur instead of 20, because it is a kind of a complicated technique, but whoever you get to give it to uh, will feel awfully special because it took some time. All right, we'll catch you later. I'll be back with more. <laughs>